Carbon Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. If you don't want to come poops. over. This one is really good. What is it? This is the Press Pear Chamomile. Oh, wow. And that it's that, and I just brushed my teeth, too, before I came over, and this one's really good. Oh, wow. What do you got? Um, and what is that from? Oh, Press. Press. Okay. Yeah. Is that the ones from, you can only get them in Wisconsin? I don't know if they're only, this. I bought them in Wisconsin. Oh. But I don't know if they're only in Wisconsin. The ones that are only in Wisconsin is the Carbless. Oh, yeah. Those yes. are like made yes, in yes, Wisconsin, yes, 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 only yes. sold in Wisconsin so mm-hmm. far, and those ones are really good. Oh, good. And I got Vizzy. I, I like these Vizzy. Yeah. Papaya passion fruit. Oh, that's a good flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I drink all the strawberry kiwis too because Julia can't have kiwi. It gets all yeah. Yeah. tingly or something. Yeah. So, well, cheers. cheers. Happy fourth. Happy fourth. Thanks for coming over Happy and recording. Fourth. This is great. I was just saying, I, I always give you an out. Like I'll say, yeah. yeah, okay, that sounds good. One o'clock sounds perfect. Then I'm like, well, I mean, if you just want to chill, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's totally fine. Like I never want to pressure you to come because you're the one that has to get out of your house. Whatever. Come over here because the studio's it's in fine. my house. I don't mind leaving my house. One of these times we'll get an office right in the middle so that yeah. we both have to get yeah. in our cars and meet and then we'll hang out at no, the office and fine. people can come watch us record live. It's not like you live 45 minutes away either. You literally live, I think, seven minutes yeah, down the road. I mean, that is kind it's of a not, bonus. Yeah. yeah that is yeah. a bonus. I think if we were an hour away or... It would be you never much know. harder. When you work with people in retail yeah. and you ask them where they live, sometimes I'm like, where? I'm sorry, where? Yeah. Because we were talking about how some of your coworkers, they they kind of, they have to travel they a lot. They drive, yeah. 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 We have our one friend that's way uh, west of here. Yeah. And she puts on so many miles yes. on her car. Yes. So can you imagine if we were I, like that yeah. far apart? This would have never happened, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. Some of the stores in Wisconsin, because when you get your your territory... They try to clump them in clumps, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. all kind of close together. Yeah. It may be far from your house, but all the stores are kind of close together. Mm-hmm. Well, in Wisconsin, you don't have that option. It's everything is so far away. Oh, sure. So sometimes sure. you have an hour between your stores. You know, it's yeah. crazy where, you know, down here it might be 20, 30 minutes max. You sure. Sure. Unless you get stuck in traffic going downtown or something. Which is but, fine because you're getting paid to drive. And you don't realize how big of a state Wisconsin is until you have to go from yeah. store to store. Like sometimes, like you said, it's 20 or 30 minutes yeah. in between stores. Yeah. yeah. They just have to have more stores. Yeah, they got to put next, next to each other. Come on, open up more stores yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Around us, there's like a Starbucks on every corner, yes. a CVS on every corner, and yeah, that was a grocery my, store at every corner. My grandma said, you know, she she's on like her local Facebook page, right? Yeah. Like what's happening. Oh, local city. What's happening in whatever town? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And people will be like, "Well, you know, why don't we have a PetSmart? The closest PetSmart is all the way in this town." And she's like, "Why do they want every town to look the same?" So, right? They and why, they really do. You know, when when she was growing up, you didn't have that option. Mm-hmm. You wanted to go to the fabric store. That was four towns over. It was a day trip. You know, mm-hmm. you'd go go to the fabric store, have lunch, whatever, come back home. Yeah, you know? yeah. So when you're driving on the highway. Or when you're getting to these stores. Yeah. You were kind of mentioning like some of the funny I, signs yeah. or something that you yeah. would see. Well, I have my whole own conspiracy theory oh. about Ooh. the tollway signs. You know what? I think right? I read that you said conspiracy, but I was just more excited of what you were going to tell us. Yeah. So now I'm even more excited. So, you know, they have those signs over the tollway saying, you know, maybe accident ahead, you know, block, left lane blocked, whatever. Um, And a lot of times you'll see it's a endangered person oh right oh, you mean like on the sign above correct okay you know they'll have like you know click it or ticket every once in a while on there I think you said you found some funny ones I may right? have yeah um so my whole conspiracy theory is these endangered people because it'll be like endangered person blue Nissan with their license plate number call 911 mm. right so I was always raised if something was happening to you and you needed help you never yelled help. You would yell like fire. There's oh. a fire, right? Because people are willing to help, but if they don't know what's happening, they don't want to step in, right? Oh. So people are always willing to help, but people aren't always so willing to turn other people in, right? So my conspiracy mm. theory is this is not endangered people. It's just people wanted by the police that they think oh. maybe traveling in the area. <laughs> right? That is because very if they were like, you know warning there's a man with a gun in a blue Toyota with this license plate number. Everybody's going to be like, holy shit, just get away from it. But if they say, oh, it's an endangered person, oh, we need to help that person. You know, what if they have Alzheimer's and 
and they can't remember where they live or dementia or something, you know? So it's oh, like, Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think it's just criminal. So I've never tried like, okay, so now up. I've never even <laughs> thought of it. And right now I am Googling the colors because sometimes they do silver alerts. Yes. And I think immediately people think silver is someone older, but yes. I think it actually means something else. Right. It means I don't know. mentally. I think, okay. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Alert. So let me, um, I want to take a look here. I'm going to look at highway alert <laughs> colors. And um, let's see, or Homeland Security Advisory. Oh, oh God, Homeland Security. No, that's Remember when different. that was a big thing? That was our our level of threat from ISIS. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, there's a purple alert. We saw that in Florida, and I think that was an endangered child or missing child. Yeah. So how come this isn't so easy to find here? Compressor, sunlimited.com. What is that? Oh, Amber Alert. Yeah, Amber yeah, like Alert. An Amber That's alert. a missing Call child. One for info. I'm trying to find out. Of course, there's, like, all these ads Pop on here. Ups. So, okay, so here we go. An Amber Alert. They would just say Amber Alert. Yeah. And that came from... Um, the, Wasn't that somebody's name? Uh, yes, it was actually yeah. her name that... Uh, Yes. I, Is it just a coincidence that it's also a color? <laughs> Amber. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Amber is the color of your energy. Okay. Amber alerts are issued for children age 17 and younger whose whereabouts whereabouts are not known. Okay. So that's that. Silver alert. Texas silver alerts went live for the first time in 2007. They focus on helping seniors age 65 or older. Yeah. Okay, I swore someone told me a silver, silver alert was not for actual, oh. like, seniors. But, no, that's well. silver alerts focus on helping seniors age 65 or older, as well as younger seniors who have Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. So maybe that's what, what we talked about. Yeah. So seniors who wander because of cognitive impairment become yeah. a silver alert. Uh, blue alerts. Have you ever seen a blue alert? No, uh-uh. It's issued to the public to warn about violent offenders. Oh. So I don't... Well, see, I said it's a blue Toyota. (laughs) Right, right. Maybe they're like blue Toyota. Oh, my God. Because the color of the car. Oh, maybe. There's your conspiracy. See? Okay, we're going to learn here today. We are going to learn here today. It's all coming together. Um, They have killed or seriously injured any law enforcement officer. And a, a description of the offender's vehicle or its tag or partial tag can be made available to the announcement to the public. That's wild. And that's a blue alert. Endangered missing person is exactly what it says. Oh, okay. It says endangered person. I saw that going to Indiana. Yeah. I flew from Texas back to Chicago and thought it would be smart to then drive to Indiana. Yeah. And I hit, like, construction traffic. It was seven hours. But oh, God. now that you mention your conspiracy theory, yeah. there was an endangered person, and yes. they had us go all down to one lane. Really? And there were officers everywhere. So I think they probably looking. were looking for yeah. a red car like mine. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It wasn't like that. But yeah. And it said endangered person, but right? What if it was but, really a criminal? Yeah, it's similar to a silver alert. It alerts the public to individuals with severe cognitive or intellectual impairment who may be in an unsafe environment. So that's a missing, that's an endangered missing persons alert. A camo alert, C-A-M-O, camo alert. Um, Post-traumatic stress disorder, like for military or anything like that. Um, People with mental illnesses are more likely to be the victims of violence than to initiate it in some cases. Mm. So then they would do a, a camo alert. Huh. I hope I'm saying that right. It's C-A-M-O. Yeah. Yeah, it's like camo. camouflage, yeah. right? Yeah. Started in 2019 to notify the public about current or former military personnel who are missing. So huh. it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. I never heard of a camo alert. Uh, personnel must register for the program in advance to be eligible. Oh. So you have to register knowing that maybe there is a mental um, yeah. health concern there. And then uh, if something happens... Then they can they can put you up there on the. I have never seen that. I've never seen that. Uh, this I don't know if this is Texas only. I'm on I'm on uh, compressorsunlimited.com. This is for Texas. It says the Clear Alert is a specialized Texas state program to assist missing adults who are not eligible to help under the other programs. So that's just a general. Oh, okay. Yeah, Clear Alert. Like we're finding an adult that maybe yeah. maybe was never diagnosed with mental. Maybe was never in right. You know, military. Maybe is in that age range that yeah. you know, young adults over, or something like over that. Over eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Eighteen yeah. or over. Yeah. Exactly. Huh. Exactly. Clear Alert. Yeah. So then I think I've also seen. 
have I seen a have I seen a purple alert? I feel like I've seen a purple alert. California. It's in Florida. That's why. Oh, Florida. That's why I've seen it because yes. Stephen lives there. Purple alerts engage the public in the search for a missing person. We had one when we okay. were there. We had a purple alert. They were looking for um, a car, a vehicle, yeah. a blue Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many alerts have you seen? A lot. Like, give me an example of what it says. Like, and- okay, so if I drive to the city every day, you know, or close to the city, if I get on 90, right? Like, that's our major highway in and out of Chicago. Yeah. If I get on 90 every day for three months, I'll say I'll see 12. Oh. I see them a lot. Wow. Like, if it doesn't say endangered person, then, like I said, it'll say, like, click it or ticket or... You know, yeah, yeah, they try yeah, to come yeah. up with like some funny ones sometimes, but they're really not funny. You yeah, know? right, right, right. A little high is too high, it's still too high to drive. Like yeah. that's a big one because weed is legal here. So, yeah, I don't, I haven't seen that sign no recently, like in the past year. They or got so. those billboards up everywhere now too. Yeah, I saw one. I think they were looking for. Okay, so no, actually, here's my question to you. This is what I was thinking about when I was waiting for you to come. <laughs> so you see it. So I know you had your conspiracy theory, yeah. right? Because you're like, okay, we're looking for someone that probably just shot his mother. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Can you memorize the license no. plate? Like I'm looking Mm-mm. up right now to try and picture how I used to look no. inside. It'll say, let's just say it says blue Toyota. Yeah. License plate. L I C one two three yeah. or M yeah. M L M or whatever. Yeah. M L M. M L M. L O M B S. M L M B S. Queen. <laughs> Boss lady. So do you read it and you're like, okay, yeah, I'm going to remember that. And you start looking around and you're like, shit, no, what was uh-uh. the license plate no, again? I don't remember. You know, I think I said it on here before the one time the lady was um, like, she was at a cabin or whatever and she almost, she practically got beat to death by this man, mm. but she played dead. He left. She hopped in her car to drive herself to the hospital because she was in a very remote area and she actually caught up to his car. And she couldn't see the license plate because it was, like, dirty. Mm. And she, after the incident, you know, because whatever, she saved herself and shit. What a wow. brave wow. person. Um, She went um, under hypnosis oh. to see if she could remember the license plate. So I do catch myself a lot of times being, like, MLM boss babe, you know, like. Yeah, sure, sure, and sure, try sure. to remember, like, the license plates around me. But for some reason, when I look at those signs, I I just ignore them, kind of. Okay, good. Maybe because you see them so much. I probably. It's pretty bad. I mean, I'll try to be, you know, because it'll be like, you know, gray Nissan, and I'm like, look around, and there's 40 of them, and I'm like, sure, oh, sure. shit, I don't know, you know? <laughs> and in the city, it's like gray, gray Nissan with dent yes, on the right side. Yes, they all have a dent on exactly. the right side. I was watching a video today on TikTok of this chick driving. She's in Chicago. You can tell she's in Chicago. Sure. And this guy pulls away from parallel parking right in front of her, and she honked at him. Well, of course, he gets out and starts bitching at her, and she's like, dude, just get back in your car. Let's go. We could be gone already, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So then the video speeds up a little bit, and they're driving a little bit, and they come to a red light. He gets out of his car again and starts yelling at her, right? And I I go to the comments because I'm like, of course, it's Chicago. And you can see the guy's plate is Illinois, you know? Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, why didn't you call the cops? And it's like, Pfft. You'll be lucky if you call 911 in the city and not get a busy signal, okay? Oh, gosh. Like, the cops are going to be like, get over it. You know, is he swinging a gun at you? No? Okay, just keep driving. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and it was probably the day that the president was at my oh, office God. building, so all the all police the officers were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was they, no there, No one was going to help her on yeah. the highway. No, no. It was, You know, it was just in a, a city street. Like, there's there a ton of people around, but nobody's willing to get in the middle of that, mm-hmm. you know? Like, mm-hmm. and and... It, like, honestly, if you called 911 in the city and you said, oh, this guy pulled out in front of me and I honked at him and he's yelling at me, they're going to be like, ma'am, just drive away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Why are you Why are you using your why phone and you, driving? Yeah. Why are you wasting our time? <laughs> like, it's not the same as everywhere else, no, guys. No, it's just it's so overpopulated. <laughs> yes. There's so many calls that they get every day. Gosh. It's funny, though. I was just telling Steve, I think it's because I have my little red car or people have just, we always talk about entitlement or they're just aggressive or anything like that. I am not a slow driver. And years ago, I used to be very aggressive and very sassy. Like, yeah. if someone was riding too close to me, I'd slam on my brakes. Yeah, see, I don't do that shit. And I've gotten hit before yeah. from it. And, you know, after after COVID and just, you know, people with the riots and stuff, I thought, I need to calm down driving. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. So I'm just coming from town and we have a detour right now because a road is down. So you kind of yes. have to swing around by a horse barn and then come around for those that don't know we live in like corn country yeah (laughs) 
<laughs> and so I did not pull out in front of anyone. I'm coming from the store. So I've been on the road for a while. And all of a sudden I look in my rear view mirror and I can only see a grill yeah. to a truck, to a yeah. Chevy truck, a red yeah. Chevy truck. And I was like, whoa. And I, th- I looked down. I'm like, okay, I'm just following the car in front of me. And there was a motorcycle in front of them. Which all, always makes me nervous. Which always motorcycle. makes me nervous. So I'm not going to go any faster. Yeah. And he's pulling to the left a little bit, like looking to see if anyone was around me. You, I have a very little car. Yeah. You can see ahead you of me. You can see over the top you of can, my car. You can absolutely. And he's, his hand is like coming out of the window. I kind of almost started shaking a little bit. I'm like, okay, five year ago, me would have slammed on my brakes. He would have hit me. Yeah. But five year ago, me probably would have also gotten shot by this guy. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and he's on me, on me, on me. I'm like, well, I don't understand what I did wrong. And you know, I'm maybe I was going too slow, but there were people There's in front, a car of, in front me. of you. You can only go as fast as a car. In so, front I mean, of you. I'm telling you, I felt the heat from his radiator on my car. And then he finally took a right into a neighborhood that is near like a daycare. And I was like, Okay. Like I was just like, I got home and I told Steve, I go, holy cow. Yeah. I go, this is why people are wild I know. now. That's every time I leave your house, you have, you know, I pull out of your driveway and I take one right and I'm at the main intersection, and right? It's one more road to your house. One more road to my house. Well, you have a very small hill to yes. the right. Yes. And I look and look and look and I'm like, nobody's coming. And I go to go and sure as shit, somebody comes up <laughs> over that hill. And it's, and it's only, slow. Yeah, it's yeah. only 35. Yeah. So, you know, you figure it's a going school forward. zone. I'm like, I got to slam on the gas. I'm like, oh, yeah. go fast. Like they, because they get right on your ass after that. It's, you it's know. wild, isn't it? It is, yeah. I couldn't believe it. So I have another driving story actually that just happened. It was the next day. I think, I think it was before the truck. Cause I came home and I told Steve, I'm like, something's going on. Yeah. I need to stay off the roads. <laughs> you know, it was one of those couple days in a row. So I'm just driving down. We have, again, we have this like cornfield land and it takes me to a grocery store going North and a motorcycle is on my rear and I'm uh, going 55. It's a, it's a, it's cornfield. So right, you can go 55 right. or 60. No one's going to pull you over. Yeah. I usually do 70 on that. Yeah. Road. Right. Right. So I'm going like Sorry, 55 guys. again. There is a car in front of me and there are like, um, there's like a, um, a market, like a farmer's market and stuff. So there's this yeah. intersection that a lot of people, there's a lot of accidents that happen. Right. So I never go fast until faster until after I pass that intersection. Yeah. I have seen so many accidents, yeah. cars upside down, motorcycles getting hit, trucks being off. There's been so many. It's unbelievable. And it's right here, you know. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm driving there and I start to pass that road and the car in front of me does not turn that down that way, but they kind of paused a little bit. They kind of slowed down. I think they were probably looking for it. Yeah. Because it's kind of hidden they in the back. They know too. So again, I look in my left, my, my rear view mirror. No, I look on the, my left mirror and I can see the headlight of the motorcycle on my taillight. Yeah. And God. I was like, dude, what if I was turning right? You wouldn't yeah. have been able to see my blinker, my brakes. And he passes me, which is fine. That's fine. You know, yeah. you have like a crotch rocket or whatever. Yeah. It was very fast. He passes me, but another car is coming up over the hill. Oh my God. And so he goes in front of me. The car in front of me gets a little nervous about it and starts to hit their brakes. Yeah. And so he's hitting his brakes and then I'm real close to him. I'm like, it would have been my fault. Yeah. So then he gets real up next to the driver in front of me, the car in front of me. He's up on, I swear to God, he could just reach out and touch touch. their taillight. And he's waiting to pass them, but cars are coming, cars are coming. And then I see a truck, like a... um, 18 wheeler in front of that car, right? Oh, up over the hill, right? Cause we're very hilly around here. So he passes the car in front of me. He's close to the truck. He's close on the left side tail light to the truck. He's going to pass the truck. The truck's right blinker goes on. Cause it's going to turn into the jewel. Yeah. And the, the motorcycle doesn't see it. Oh my So he God. swings to the right thinking that the truck is slowing down for nothing, gets in the turn lane and the truck whips a right. And the motorcycle and the truck had all- no clue that it's no clue, there. no clue, yeah, no clue. Because you know how trucks do a wide yeah. turn, and that's why they have the signs wide turns. Right. I've never seen it in person that this is why they have these signs on their trailers. And he slams on his brakes, almost like going sideways, like a hockey Get stop, out. and almost underneath the trailer. I thought I'm going to see a death. Here I am. I'm going to see an X, and here we go. You know, go. everybody has those stickers that say "Watch out for motorcycles." Motorcycles need to watch out for everybody else yeah. too. And he like, stopped, he pulled over. You could tell he had a, a, an instant heart attack, good. a mini heart attack. He needs to, because he needs to learn that riding people's asses like that is not good. I, I, I always say I give semis and motorcycles all the room in the world, mm-hmm. because if something happens to that bike and they dump it, I am not going to be the person that runs them over yep. because I was following too close. 
I always give motorcycles room. But there's been times that I'm driving on the tollway and I am very alert, right? Mm -hmm. You are. I always think back to driver's ed. Every two seconds, you should be mirror, road, mirror, road, speedometer, road, mirror, road. You know, like always be aware. Because these people fucking come out of nowhere crossing four lanes of traffic because their exit is right there. So you have to be aware of them. I've... They've scared the shit out of me. Literally, these motorcycles that just come out of nowhere and fly past you on the shoulder. Yeah. You know, and it's, they need to be more careful. You guys, mm-hmm. be more careful. Yep. And be careful. And your mom knows she, she, uh, she's a driver. Yeah. Oh, first, she, she's a truck driver and a motorcycle yep. ri- driver. Yeah. Yes. So I'm you know, sure she she's gets, seen it all. She gets so irritated with people. Like, she's on her motorcycle one morning, not that long ago. I don't know if I told you guys this, guys this story, but she just told me this. So it's early. It's kind of foggy, right? Mm. So she's taking it easy. She also lives out in the sticks, literally. So people love to do 70 miles an hour out there. She's like a 45, 55, you know? That's a speed limit. She obeys the speed limit. This truck was up her ass. Oh, no. And it finally passed her, and she's like, fine, whatever. Well, then, you know, a little bit farther down the road, a deer ran out in front of her. Like, far enough in front of her that... She watched it happen, but she goes, if I would have let that asshole push me to go faster, I would have hit that deer on my motorcycle, you know? So it's like, everything happens for a reason. It's so true. It's so true. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you're a driver of a car, truck, semi, motorcycle, I know it's hard to not lose your shit. Yeah. You know, especially at the end of the day, you just want to get home. Yep. I find myself switching lanes, switching lanes. And I'm like, you know what? Just get in the fucking right lane. You're 15 minutes from home. That's where the most accidents happen. Get home safe. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Just relax. You're almost there. uh, I've I've learned not to take things personal on the road anymore. Yeah. Because it used to really, I'd come home and I would just be a mess. Stressed out, fat lip from hives, picked all my (laughs) nail polish off. Like with that truck that I was just telling you about, the Chevy that was behind me. I like, I got home, I had to shake it off. I'm like, Okay, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was on. It's, yeah. I'm home safe, so I need to like let it go. Right. But of course, I wanted to bring it to the. I know. Yeah. <laughs> to the podcast. Well, we have to tell everybody else about <laughs> it. Can't just keep it to ourselves. Oh gosh. Sometimes people just pass me, and they, you know, they'll they'll gesture to another car. I'm like, can't we all just get along? Yeah. Like, why are we all so mad at I each know. other? I was laughing because one day the guy, like, he's, you know, he's he's driving fine. We're all doing the speed limit. Everything's cool. And of course, some jerk comes up, and and man, this guy was giving him the finger out the window oh, and everything no. you know like god damn it <laughs> and then like you know somehow i i had caught up to that guy and got around him i just give him thumbs up like <laughs> you fucking tell him man <laughs> and we always say the worst gesture thumbs, thumbs down. down like no. that was a terrible <laughs> move dude you suck <laughs> nothing ruins your day like getting a thumbs down from somebody <laughs> in the middle of traffic so when you said that you were going to talk about highway signs, of course I Googled yes. it. So I looked up Illinois tollway funny signs, but oh, some okay. of these are not from Illinois. Okay. Sometimes they just take that out of the So if, for those that maybe don't drive the highway, these are the very bright lighted, bigger signs that have yeah. the endangered, They're like you said. They're over the whole or, four lanes yes, of the highway. Yes. They're huge. We're not talking green signs. These are right. lighted light bulb, light bulb ones. So the first one says, phone down, eyes up when you drive a car or truck. I feel like I've seen that one. Yeah. And what song is that? There, it's a song. Face down, yeah. ass up. That's the way I like to food. Judge, 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 judge. Oh, I knew you would know. Oh, Leave God. it to me. This is definitely Illinois on the way to Chicago. It says no texting, no speeding, no catch up. No catch up. No catch up on the dogs. Come no on, catch guys. up on the dogs. After 12 years old, you're not allowed to have ketchup on your hot dog anymore. <laughs> you are now an adult. This is from uh, May. It says, may the fourth be with you. Text, I will not. I saw that one. Did you when you were driving? I did. That's yes. amazing. I hate the may the fourth be with you ones. I don't know why. I just think they're so corny. I got to get my glasses on for this one. It's a little get bit blurry, glasses. but people should not be taking pictures. And uh, oh, look at how nice. Yeah, this is people driving 90 miles an hour taking pictures of these signs, <laughs> by the way. Uh Puff, puff, pass the keys to the designated driver. Yep, Have you seen, seen that yeah, one? Yeah. So funny. So, Because after so they funny. legalized the marijuana, they had a bunch uh, of them. I think this is when the Blackhawks were doing well. It says, Ooh. buckling up is always a good go. Oh. And there was like a whole bunch of O's on that one. 
State troopers weed out impaired drivers. Oh. Clever. Clever. Clever, Illinois. Very, very clever. Hey, guys, too. Also, if you are driving on the tollway, I've been seeing a lot, and I mean a lot, of undercover cops. Yes. You know, we even have them around here. I know. I, I see them on my run. Yes. And I don't I've know been to wave, seeing, it's like up, thank it's, you. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> you just ignore them. You pretend like they're not there. They don't want to be seen. <laughs> um, I've seen, it's like like a, a Honda Civic, and it has somebody pulled over. Really? Yeah, so be careful, what kind guys. Of, what kind of motor does a Honda Civic have? I mean, you could probably get pretty fancy with it, right? Like, think Fast and the Furious, you oh, know? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's true. This is yeah. very true. This one's very simple. It says, use ya blinka. And it's, use ya blinka. <laughs> it's Y-A-H, blinka, blinka. Oh, gosh, these are so funny. Um, and do. then, of course, the sad ones are thank you for your service and end of end of service or, oh. you know, the oh, forget. I don't want to see bumps. those. Yeah, we only want the funny stuff. Do they say like happy 9-11? Like that's the most I depressing thing I wouldn't say, yeah, ever. yeah. This one just says TPR Chris Lambert 6527. Thank you for your service. Ugh, no, yeah. I don't want to see that. Isn't that state trooper? Trooper, right? Probably, trooper Chris, oh. yeah. And then his badge number and then thank you for your service. Ugh. Um, so this one's super, these I hate. This is not a funny one. This is like it tells you how long it takes to get downtown oh, or to the no. next exit. Yes. And I always have to pee when it tells yes. me that there's like 10 minutes to downtown. Yeah. And when they say 10 minutes to downtown, they just mean the edge of downtown. Right. They don't mean you're like actually going to be able to pee in You 10 have minutes. to get on Lakeshore Drive. That's another 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Or the ones that are very serious, they say, see orange, slow down, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So sometimes, it, yep, construction, yeah. we see those everywhere in Illinois. Yeah. This one just says slow down and save a life. I think there was, um, <laughs> oh, this might be one of our favorites. I'm not sure you'll let me know. This one says, hocus pocus, drive with focus. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> uh, this is during the holidays. It says, cousin Eddie says, Twitter's full, <laughs> put down the phone. I like that oh, one Oh, fantastic. This one says, exit to text it. How do they come up with these? Uh, there's got to be just Whose one. Whose job is that? This one says, oh, my God, are you texting? I can't even. Ew, <laughs> sick. You're so gross. Texting and driving, gross. Texting and driving is clever, said no one ever. No one ever. <laughs> uh, you know me. I do not text and drive. Your text will sit there unread for an hour until I get home. Yeah, yeah, you are. You're very yeah. good at that. I am terrible, sort of. Yeah. I won't put it in park, but if I'm stopped, I will take a peek. Yeah. Um, but actually, I, I learned from our friend Greg. That you got to have it in park. Yeah. Like, I, th- I think he told me the story that someone did stop him and say, hey, I saw you. He goes, hey, I had it in park. Yeah. It was in park. I was off to the side. I think he told. I think yeah. he was the one that told me that story. I have to get better at that. Just pull over. My sister-in-law is very good at that. If you text her and she knows that maybe you're waiting on a response, she will pull over and text you back and then get back on. Yeah. The I'll, That's I'll, fantastic. You know, I, I am probably a little guilty of if I see it come across, you know, oh, and I on know your what screen. it says. Yeah. Then I'll open it and I'll do talk to text. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm on my way, you know. Actually, I've gotten better at that. Yeah. I was not. I was terrible years ago. I was terrible. Um, I'll I admit saw, it. I'm a lot better. I saw a sign that said, um, I'll be there in a, and it was like they were going to put while. Oh. But then it changed to wheelchair. Oh. Right? Because they didn't clever. finish the text and then they got into an accident. Yes. And da, 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 da. Didn't. Did I mention it already that I follow someone or we, the Clopin, because that's the only account I have, follow someone on TikTok. He, she works in a um, mortuary or she calls herself oh, the mortuary something. Okay. I can't think of what I her handle is. I think I follow is. that person too. Yeah. And she said that things that I will never do in my car and she says, use my cell phone. Yeah. She goes, I can't tell you how many times I've picked up bodies yeah. and they're under a truck Yeah. because you didn't see the truck stop right. or whatever. And right. th- and actually that that resonated with me. So I've been very, very good. I even told Julia that I it, the phone's down. I'll send everything I need to send and while I'm driving, people can respond and then when I get to my destination. Yeah. So I've gotten really good yeah. actually from following her. I mean, there's time, like I said, I'm always very aware, but you know, when you're, when you're 10, 15 minutes away from home and you start kind of zoning out cause you're just like yeah. flowing with traffic and it's like, oh fuck that truck has stopped in front of me. Yeah. You know? You so do, I can't the- imagine trying to text and do that too. I actually I learned that it. that's muscle memory. Oh you yeah. Know. You oh, know yeah. where you you're You know going. the turns, you know yeah. everything. Yeah. You can just, yeah. And you yeah. can time it. You can time it. You're, and how many times are you it. like, did I just run that red light? Right. Oh, gosh. Did Steve does that all the time because he's sign? been here for years. He, yeah. just, he knows and he'll look back and he'll be like, whoa, what was that stop sign? I'm like, yeah, yeah, you stopped. He's like, oh. It's crazy. Because he's thinking about work or something. I'm so. really bad about 
so probably my worst time of driving is backing out of the driveway. Oh. Like, I look, look, yep, nobody's there. And then all of a sudden I get to the stop sign. That's two houses down from mine. And there's somebody behind me. And I'm like, where the fuck did they come from? Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they just wait for me to pull out of my driveway? That's one thing I hate about my cars is there is a lot of blind spots. Yeah. Uh, you know, and we have the same type of car. Yeah. And I feel the same yeah. for me. Um, and I know I always bring this up, but for running, I can't tell you how many people I've scared because if they come, if they're coming out of their neighborhood, taking a right, they're only looking left right? and I'm coming from the right. Right. And so all of a sudden they'll go to take off and I, yeah, I've learned not to, not to trust anyone. I watch tires and I watch the actual yeah. driver yeah. and all of a sudden they'll look and you can just see them yeah. jump, hit their brakes. Like, yeah. Oh God, there's a runner there. And you there. just wave to them. You're like, I'm I do. Fine, I do. Yeah. I just smile and wave now. I used to flip them off or <laughs> actually, you know what my new thing is because especially around the holidays, people are not paying attention. Yeah. kids are in the back screaming whatever whatever I not an excuse you know or they're like yesterday I was running and I can see the woman looking at her council I'm like what are we looking at what yeah. are we looking at and I got again we got guardrails because there's a lot of bridges around here and I'm like where am I gonna go if she keeps moving towards me and sure enough she's looking I'm like okay she's coming towards me she's, so I kind of like waved my hand in the air, which is my new thing. I kind of just like, hey, can you move over a little bit? Like a, a polite wave, right. not, a, not a finger or anything. But again, cornfield land. Like yeah. a lot of times you don't see anything. You know, we have a bear that visited. We got deer. That's about it, you know. Yeah. That's so the next crazy. one says, hanging with buds, avoid the joint, designated driver. <laughs> it's just <laughs> such dad jokes, I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, when you picture who's writing this, who do you picture? An old man. And I feel like it's an older retired woman. Yeah, like, I don't like know. Like just laughing at like a one of those contagious laughs. Oh my God, you know? this is going to be so great. Everybody's <laughs> going to get such a kick out of it. Can't wait to see this on the social. And then she's like, texts it to her friends and she's like, guys, this is what I'm putting on the sign. And then they're like, oh yeah, ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, I'll never forget the one time I sent you and Bestie something. I'm like, I think I'm going to turn this into a meme. And both of you are like, I don't, I don't get it. I'm like, oh my God, forget it. Forget hey, it. At least we were honest. You, no, you are. You are. We were like, oh, you yeah, are great. Yeah, do it. <laughs> See how many likes you get on that, Murder. I'm always checking in to make sure it makes sense oh, before I so post funny. it. Um, this one must have been during Halloween, like the Hocus Pocus one. It says, you are not a pumpkin. Don't drive smashed. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, it's not that big of a deal if you don't get home before midnight. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's never that serious, guys. Oh, gosh. I saw that one meme that says... um. Uh, what does it say? Uh, if you lose your shoe after before midnight, you're not Cinderella. You're just drunk. Go home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, Megan. <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the dab. Get a cab. Oh, I'm surprised they're like talking about dabs. Yeah. Like that's like serious. <laughs> I know. Cannabis. Yes. Stuff. Oh God. Let's see. I thought there was just a couple more. Let's just see if there's any more here. What the hell is that? A face on a the face. oasis? It says no one. And then the Illinois tollways are looking at you like oh, open okay. road tolling. We're going to charge you a lot. You know, I was actually, I, I, you know, I was actually thinking about this. Like <coughs> I can't imagine the millions of dollars that our tollway makes. Seriously. And I also can't even uh, tell you how many times I've seen cars with like flat tires and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Like fix the toll roads with the money that we're giving yeah, you. Yeah. That's just my little Do soapbox. You know, the toll was only supposed to be temporary. Oh yeah. It oh, wasn't I... supposed to be a lifelong thing. Oh yeah. And I, I can almost understand why it is a lifelong thing because like we have to constantly fix the roads, right? Sure. Of course. There's you know, when so they said, people. oh, this is temporary, there was probably only 300,000 people in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. And now we have billions or yeah. whatever you know 300 million i don't know how many people we have and you're probably guessing right usually you guess low on our numbers so you're probably yeah. guessing right this time i'm guessing 300 million <laughs> um but yeah so i can see why they need it but yeah our so kendra who was on here yeah. she's born raised wisconsin yeah and when first of all they don't fa- they don't they do not pay Food tax in Wisconsin, right? Oh, which we've yes, all had right, the luxury right, right. lately. July first, I think our food tax went back on, so it's going to cost like an extra thirty cents for everything. Ugh. Woohoo! Anyways, she's like, "Why are your guys's roads so bad oh, down I here?" I go, "I don't know because we pay twice as much in taxes as you do." She's yeah. like, "That that's ridiculous. I can't believe your guys's roads are like this, mm. and you pay so much in taxes." And then we've brought up since since we're talking about dabs and driving high, 
where did all the tax money from the weed go? Okay, we oh. made weed illegal, and like they made, they made like two billion dollars on the, the first, first day. Year. <laughs> I said the first year. But where did all those tax dollars go? I, where did they go? I is, it like ladder, it. is it like lottery to the school systems? Right. So I Googled it, and it's like, oh, you know, 10% went to this, 10% went to that. Like, I think it was like 65% went to administra- administrative oh, costs. Goodness. And I was like, oh, 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 you mean like. Pritzker's pockets or yeah. what, you know? His house up here in Lake Geneva? Yeah. You know, you drive up there and all the signs in the yard say, you know, F you. And- <laughs> Dude, there's so many Pritzker sucks signs. And they call him Prickster. <laughs> Prickster. Oh, my God. Terrible. You know, and will we ever be happy with no, whoever's no, in no, charge? No. no. You're always. Will we always make fun? Make, yes. Yes. You can never make everybody happy. But, man, where did all that weed money go? Mm. I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. Slow down. This ain't Thunder Road. What the hell is Thunder Road? <laughs> I feel like that's a Garth Brooks song, like Thunder. Oh, no, it's Thunder that's Rolls. Thunder Rolls. <laughs> Go back to Cass's concert episode know, to hear right, the full that's song. Right. That's so um, funny. Thunder Road. Is that from like uh, Roundhouse I or feel something? Like it's, um, I feel like it's a Tom Cruise, Tom. right? Oh. Is it right? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch the new, whatchamacallit, <laughs> that new movie. Indiana Jones? No. Barbie? No, <laughs> no. The one where they fly the jets. Top Gun. Oh, you haven't seen that one? No, uh-uh. Uh, I'm a fan of the first one. Uh, the well, second one was too depressing. It's never good the second time around. <laughs> Although Jumanji is really good the second I one. I love Jumanji, <laughs> all of the Jumanji movies. Oh, but that's because they changed it up every time. It wasn't, they weren't sure. trying to continue the story. It was a story. different adventure. Right, 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 right. I like when they do that. Yes. Same. I don't like when they remake. Like, you know what? Okay. We pay millions of dollars for movies, right? Yeah. Like, between the streaming, between going to the theaters, they show you, like, you know, they spent $1 million making this movie and it grossed $30 million, yeah, right? Yeah. Come up with some new stories, okay, guys? <laughs> uh, except for right now, there's a strike on the well, Fighters Guild. So not only <laughs> are you going to pay them more yeah. to come up with these new stories, but I hate that they just remake movies all the time. Yeah. How did we go to movies from driving? How, what, say it again? I said, how did we go to movies from driving? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Thunder Road. <laughs> Thunder Road. Tom Cruise, I think. I don't know. Everyone's like, no, that wasn't Tom Cruise, Meredith. <laughs> the one no that clue. never watches anything. I know. I have no clue. So this is the last one I, I wanted to end with this one. Uh, this is from Arizona. It says, I think someone at the Arizona Department of Transfer- Transportation finally decided to quit. It says, graduates, show us your titties. <laughs> <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Oops, I wonder oops, how long oops. that was up there. Long enough for someone to take a yeah, picture. So yeah. we'll end it on that one. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Get your titties out. Hey, I hope everybody had a safe July 4th. Thanks for being here with us this week again. I was going to say, I still one, got two, all three, 10 four. of my yep, me too, fingers. Me too. Yep. They're a little crooked and full of arthritis, but I'm okay with That's that. That's okay. <laughs> we had fun on our slip and slide also. Oh my gosh. Go to our TikTok. Cass posted a video of Johnny and Brennan yes. uh, racing and yes. Brennan won. So go to our TikTok. Check Not the out. one that I just, you know, I creep everybody's page. Go to the one that Cass runs, the one that's the, the real <laughs> one. And see what our slip and slide look like. It is so much fun. It's uh, our annual fun. 4th of July fest We woke up very sore and scratched up the next day, and, and I couldn't have been happier. Right. My heart was full. It was so <laughs> it worth was it. so nice. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. Drive safe. Yes. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Show us your titties. Titties. <laughs>